All right. Welcome to another edition of Quick and Dirty Reviews. Today we are looking at The Witcher 3. We are currently on the uh, area or province of the Skellige Isles. Skellige Isles would be a lot like the realm of the Nords or um, Skyrim. So um, today we're going to take a trip over to Undvik, maybe, I guess that's how you pronounce it. We're looking for some craftsman tools so we can get some better armor. I have not been to this area yet. Move it! And I hear some creepy noises, so I'm suspecting Come we're on. in an abandoned village. And we're gonna see what we get. Um but as we travel toward the destination. I can go ahead and uh, give you a quick rundown of what I think of the game. This game is incredibly impressive to me on uh, many levels. I uh, can't help but compare it to the Dragon Age games. And um, Dragon Age has always touted itself as being sort of like a mature kind of hardcore story. But um, slow now, whoa. When compared to The Witcher, uh, the story, in my opinion, is fairly mild, although it is awesome. The Witcher has just never been afraid to go there, especially when it comes to racism, persecution, hardship, sort of just the vileness of the human nature, even though a lot more races in this game than just humans. Um, I think it's much more akin to like Game of Thrones as far as uh, political machinations, factions, and all that jazz. Even the witchers themselves. Oh, Jesus. Ah. <laughs> oh, God. I should just walk across this. Even the witchers themselves are an awesome faction. They're more powerful than normal humans, uh, but they are persecuted, hated, and feared. So, um, just by being a witcher, you experience quite a bit of racism as you travel, even when you help people. Um, so one thing that I really love about this game is the varied nature of the regions. Um, the foliage, the fauna, the environments are just so incredibly detailed. Perhaps later I can get into uh, the insides of buildings and homes and things like that. Slow now. Whoa. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. But for now, just kind of check out the scenes of nature. Wow. Okay. Alright, very good. So, we clearly have a pretty large foe up ahead. I think I might just save it, just in case things go awry. <clears throat> so, I don't know, whatever we're measuring this game by, I would, I just think it's near perfect. There's just some minor complaints from my end. And they have to do with kind of graphical glitches, which honestly, I am happy to forgive given the scale of this game. 
Alright, these sirens are gonna be after me now. I'm gonna switch over to Igni. Um I long I long to be what home. is going on to the modest There's someone in the ship those corners of road to my dog with his pipe to my two boys my wife to the alcove wherein lies my beautiful getting updates all right so uh, beyond the graphics and the story one of my favorite things about this game I love to be home. Okay. Uh, we got some to the boat, whose corners I to my dog with his One of my favorite aspects of this game is exploration. And um, a lot of games... Oh, come on. Bring up the sword. Oh, Jesus. Uh, a lot of games brag about exploration, and, and I think they do a great job. I mean, Skyrim, um, Inquisition. These are games that really lend themselves to a lot of fun exploration. But... Um, this the way up. But I think this game in particular. I long. Okay, here we go. This game in particular really rewards exploration and, in my opinion, makes it worth it. So let's see what's going on with Mr. Octo. I know that song. What are you doing here? Look, man. Another one. And so many times I've told him. What's that you say, Wilfred? <laughs> right you are, to never learn. At least this one heard a song before he died. Hmm. Why'd the giant spare you? Me and my crew and the sirens. We're helping him build a longship. I sew the sails and run away at times, and then the sirens fly out and bring me back. Why does he need a ship? Where does he want to go? Promise not to tell no one. I trust my men to take the secret to their graves. But you... Promise won't tell anyone. Fine then. The giant's going to sail her out to defeat the gods come Ragnarok. The final battle for the world's end. She'll soon be ready. Not much game here, but I saw the giant give you food. Where's he get it? Don't know. Don't ask. Food suits me. Suits my crew. Over there, on the ground. Hands got bite marks on it. What? Where? Well, Mark, damn it. You're supposed to clean up. Couldn't keep a secret if your life depended on it. We had a choice. Bad or starved to death. But I didn't force anyone. You know, whole crew voted in favor. Okay. Who were these men? My crew? They swore never to leave me. Kept their word. Tall one's Wilmar, Wilfred's to his right, and the lad with the stutter's Wilhelm. Why do you and your crew stay? We cannot leave. If we ventured it again, the giant would kill us all. Like he did the others. I'm looking for Hjalmar on Crate. Word is he came to this isle with a crew, aimed to defeat the giant. Oh, I saw him, as did Wilmar. Sure it was him? Wilmar's got eyes like a hawk. They stood where you stand now. Poor shape they were in, neath the red, fallen Viggy. And just between you and me, that boy's not quite right in the head. Oh. The young on Crete was here too. Remember when this was? When what was? 
When Hjalmar on Crate was here with his men. Oh, that? No, I don't remember. You might ask Wilhelm, though. They say where they were headed. Did they, Wilmer? Oh, aye. Aim to make camp in the old guard tower. <laughs> Easy enough to find. Stands in the middle of a valley, garden, absolutely nothing. Try to come back for you once I've found Hjalmar. <laughs> Sound awfully sure you'll find him? Maybe you can kill the giant while you're at it, all on your own. They're the same to a man, aren't they, Wilhelm? All think themselves immortal. Gotta go. So long. Hey, if you really aim to return, mind bring me some solid twine. You're like to find it in the village. And nails. We're short on nails. Can you remember that? Nails and twine. I'll remember. Alright, cool. I'm gonna wrap up my review here. Uh, but just some things to take away from that conversation. This cat's pretty crazy. But, uh, also really cool. And that's one thing I love about this game. It seems everyone that you run into, talk to, has an interesting story. And the dialogue is fascinating. The writing in this game is simply superb. Uh, the voice acting, I have yet to find someone that's not quite convincing. And um, it really just adds to the level of immersion. The stories in this game are some of the most interesting and varied I have ever experienced in a video game. So let's wrap things up. Um, what makes this game awesome? Primarily, it's an amazing, rich, and mature story. Secondarily, it is the varied quests in the game. It seems like you barely are doing the same thing twice. Beyond that, um, the environments are really rich and varied. Um, I haven't seen an area quite like this in the game before, so it just really feels like every time you run into a new area, it feels new and interesting. You never really get the sense that you've been there or done that. I really also enjoy the combat in this game. It's um, winds howling. It's rich, um, but it also can be complicated and uh, difficult, especially if you wander into an area you're not quite prepared for yet. Um, as kind of weird as it sounds, I'm also impressed by the accurate depictions of racism in the game. It just makes the world a lot more heavy, a lot more interesting, um, in my opinion. You might think you want to get away from racism wherever you can, but this is the world of The Witcher. It's kind of dark and dirty and gruesome, and uh, that just adds to it. There's also this really cool, like, Witcher sensibility. Let's see if there's anything nearby. Yeah, so that guy highlighted in yellow. Sometimes you use it for investigations. Oh my. What's this? Okay, here's a great example. I don't even know what this is yet. Let's check it out. Someone dragged a litter through here. Okay, I don't know. A litter of kittens, maybe? Who knows? At any rate, um, the investigation part of the game is actually pretty cool, in my opinion. Um... I also love the crafting system in the game. Whenever you collect enough materials and you buy the diagrams, you can go and make new armor, new weapons, um, all kinds of really cool stuff. This particular set of armor I dig. It's uh, the bear armor, which is like um, a school of witcher. And um, it looks cool. Finally, there is a card game called Gwent. I haven't honestly played that much of it. but. Um, I could see that being a kind of an addictive aspect for a lot of people. So Gwent is this collecti collectible card game and you use it to make progress, make friends, get cool stuff by beating other people. But I just enjoy being out and about and the card game to me so far hasn't been that interesting. But that's just me. So I will leave you with that. Um, encampment. They were attacked. This is the cat we're looking for, the Elmer. At any rate, uh, whatever we want to measure this by, let's call it 10 out of 10. Uh, Potion. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it's awesome. Get it. 
get it while you can whether that's PC which I'm running on here at um, 2715 by 1517 uh, the dynamic super resolution or if you pick it up on the consoles I saw footage of the console it looked really good too all right guys that is that this is my quick and dirty review of the Witcher 3 get it if you can it is awesome especially if you love role-playing games and if you love quick and dirty reviews uh, subscribe like and comment if you have a game in particular you'd like to see me review just uh, hit me up with a message or a comment all right I will catch you next time this is the chill gamer signing off for the quick and dirty game review